right now this is the second hour of the show and I promise to introduce you to an amazing, amazing product called the uh, Cocoa Networks, which has a cooking fuel. And if you look at the set, it is beautiful because you have the cocoa cooker and the cocoa fuel. And we're going to be finding out how exactly this works and what exactly it is. And talking to us this morning is Peter Mwako, who's the deployment manager at Cocoa Networks. Karibu sana. Una, una car branded Missouri. Those t-shirts and the logo looks really <laughs> I should nice. Get, I should get you one. <laughs> oh, you should? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Now, Coco, what, what I know about the product that is here is that it's very safe and affordable. Yes. And Kenyans are eager to find out how, how affordable is it and how safe is it? What are the parameters or the things that have been done to show or to uh, be evidence enough for people to be like, you know what, I'm going to choose this over every other cooker or every, any other fuel that is available in the market. What exactly, what is the idea? Where did it come from? What is the inspiration behind it? Uh, uh, Coco first, uh, we build technology for life. And okay. not just building, we build and deliver technology for life. Right. And uh, first of our product, uh, we are mainstreaming uh, bioethanol cooking in, uh, in Kenya. So what we have in front of us is a cocoa cooker that comes with the cocoa uh, fuel. And uh, what are the benefits or uh, what are the good points about uh, our cooker? Mm -hmm. Number one, it's safe. We want Kenyans to be safe. We want each and every household to be safe while they are uh, using our, our fuel. What is the feature that actually makes it very safe? Uh, number one, if, uh, if you could just allow me to demonstrate. Okay. When you are refilling uh, the cooker, you cannot be able to put it on so ah. so you have first to put it off before you you refill it okay yes then we have a uh, proprietary hardware where our fuel only works with our with our cooker to reduce spillages uh, if we just uh, have like a brief uh, historical uh, uh, background some of the slum fires uh, that uh, we have known uh, over the years yes. are as a result of uh, kerosene uh, spills and uh, electricity uh, faults okay what we have here is a product that cannot spill our, our fuel that comes in the car and say we put it upside down. Oh wow, down. I was really scared. <laughs> <laughs> it cannot come out. Okay. So you are uh, perfect safe. Your kid can knock this uh, down and nothing will happen. Ah. Only opens on the cooker and on the TM when you are buying your, your fuel. Absolutely. Now I know why it's safe. <laughs> and the Kenyans do now. But yeah. you also mentioned that it is very affordable. How much does the gas cooker go for? The cooker itself goes for 69.99 Kenya shilling. And for that, uh, you get uh, this wonderful cooker. To me, uh, personally, I think it's the best looking cooker <laughs> I've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> it is. It only comes in this particular shape and size. Yeah, shape and size. So small enough to fit your small table, your okay. small kitchen. And also good enough, if you have a big kitchen, it will still stand out. Great. <laughs> That's really interesting. Yeah, and then uh, for that, uh, it comes uh, with the refillable uh, canister. Okay. And you get 500 uh, worth of uh, cocoa fuel credit. This is like replacing the whole gas mutungi thing, the big one that occupies a lot of space. Yes, as well as uh, your kerosene stove, uh, charcoal jiko. Yes. This is very particular to um, the fuel that is used and even the customers that come to get it. But where do they get it from? Is it, can I walk into a supermarket and be like, nifugie yo kokomoja? Absolutely right. We want uh, Kenyans, all consumers, uh, to be able to access our fuel within a five minute, 10 minute walk uh, from their places. Wow, uh, interesting, where, is yeah, it? Where, yeah, where they live. So uh, we have our uh, cocoa agents who are mm -hmm. our business uh, partners. And a cocoa agent is simply uh, your local supermarket, your local minimart, grocery store, mm -hmm. gas shop, uh, and all. So it will always be in your shopping center, in your street. So as you walk home uh, from work, uh, pass by the shop, buy your fuel, buy your bread, maziwa, <laughs> nambogajion. Na coco. Yes. <laughs> now, you, you, you mentioned the price of the cooker. Does it come with the fuel or you have to buy the fuel candle? No, so uh, at first time when you are buying, it comes with the fuel, ah, 500 okay. worth of fuel. Okay. Then later on, now you can uh, buy from small quantities uh, from 35 shillings. 35 shillings? Yes. How, mu how, how yes, much fuel am I using to make <laughs> a meal? 35 shillings looks like very, very little fuel. Yeah, it's little, uh, but, but uh, what we are, we are like uh, really looking at is the Kidogo economy. Okay. Yeah, for a long time, uh, Kenyans, especially uh, uh, 
uh, the segment that uses uh, charcoal, kerosene, uh, firewood. It's not that they don't want uh, a clean alternative yes. or a faster alternative, but the alternatives that are there are expensive. They are not within their reach. And that's where SCOCO we are stepping in. So if you have your 35 shillings, you have 50 shillings, 100 shillings, or uh, 250 to fill the whole uh, canister, then well and good, walk into a cocoa agent and uh, do your thing. Wow. Yeah. B b say, for example, I fill this up. This is 250 bob yes. worth of fuel yes. if I get the whole canister full. Yes. How long will it take me to finish this whole canister if I'm doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yes, and uh, for an average family of uh, five, I don't know how big is your family. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It will take you uh, anywhere from uh, five uh, to seven days. Again, wow. depends on your partner part patterns of uh, cooking because uh, different consumers will always uh, have uh, different methods and methodology of cooking. Great. Yeah. You talked about agents. What does mm -hmm. that mean? Is it particular Is it particular people that you choose? Um, uh, what do you mean when you talk about their cocoa agents all over? Yeah, so uh, when I talk about uh, cocoa agents, mm -hmm. these are uh, shops that we choose to do business with and they have to meet uh, certain uh, criteria before we proceed uh, with them. So it will be mostly uh, supermarkets, grocery stores, and uh, places that sell uh, cooking LPG. Okay. Yeah. And you've also partnered with uh, uh, a company that is helping you with all of this. Maybe you can tell us about that. Yeah. So uh, on the fuel distribution side, we have uh, partnered with uh, Vivo Energy, who are the shell brand operator for, for Africa. So to ensure a consistent and steady supply of fuel, currently uptaking all local supply before we uh, complement uh, the, the gap with the uh, imports. How long has this product been in the market, uh, Peter? Uh, this, uh, uh, we've been uh, in this market for around four years. Four years. But that a uh, lot of it is uh, product development. Uh, okay. we, want, uh, we wanted, uh, we just launched this year, mm -hmm. but uh, what were we doing in the other four years? You want really to, to have a product that you know is ready for the consumers, a product that is safe, yes. a product that is fast. That safety, that that safety is thing convenient. is so cool, by the way. Yes. It is so cool. <laughs> I think it's one of the best features about this particular yeah, cooker. Yeah, and uh, quality. So you'd uh, like to really build on that before yeah. you can deliver your product to the consumers. Wow. Yes. And so far, my, personally, myself, I'm so happy seeing, yes. uh, <laughs> like getting feedback uh, from our customers that mm -hmm. this thing has changed my life. So yes. you see the way we get uh, when you have gas and you have to go fill it up. Mm -hmm. What happens here? Do you have a particular station where you go fill it up? Yeah, so uh, the closest supermarket uh, or minimart to your home is yes. where you'll go to to fill it up. So it uh, comes with a handle. Okay. And as a man, I like uh, <laughs> strapping it there. I'm not, uh, yes. So this water, uh, you'll walk into to the shop. It's usually empty. Okay. Yeah, then you'll find uh, the fuel dispenser called the uh, Cocoa Point. Cocoa points. Yes. So okay. a cashless and uh, cashless uh, machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to bring that up. Maybe you need to tell us more about that. What do you mean cashless? What happens? How do I get the points? Uh, so uh, consumers uh, will uh, top up their cocoa accounts using a uh, M-Pesa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> When I go get my cooker, do I get all this information that I need? That yeah, okay. Yes, you mm -hmm. get all this information. All right. And again, our cocoa points, uh, apart from dispensing fuel, uh, we uh, uh, see it as a digital uh, machine. Yeah. We, we have a tablet, an interactive tablet, that we host uh, content that uh, our consumers interact with. And among uh, what uh, we host is uh, cooking tips, recipes, do this A, B, C, and D. But if you don't know how to cook pilau, <laughs> go to a cocoa point, you'll get the best recipe there. <laughs> Peter, you're too hilarious. <laughs> so you get a, a, do you get the tablet and go home with it? No, oh. that's, that's on the machine itself. Okay. Yes, that's why you'll put your pin because uh, it's a chip and pin uh, system. Okay. So dock your canister, hello Mwikali, good morning to it you. It talks. It doesn't talk, but you'll see on the Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So for me to become an agent and be able to um, earn from that end of this business, how do I go about that? Uh, you love to fill in an agency application uh, form 
okay. available in our website, in our offices, as well as we have a sales representative in uh, moving around uh, Nairobi. But what do I have to do or be? Yeah, do so I need uh, a degree? yeah, no, you don't need a degree. <laughs> your degree is your shop, so okay. you need to have a shop <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because it's a mutual uh, benefit. We want the agent or the shop to benefit from us, mm -hmm. and we want to again benefit uh, from the shop uh, as well. So you need uh, a shop. Okay. Yeah, then on the technical side of things, which I don't want to talk about, we'll send in a technical team to assess your location okay. and see if it's uh, good enough to host uh, the Cocoa Point. Once that is a go, uh, now we enter to a contract with you. All right. Yes. And uh, for the for the for the for the canister to be full, how many points do I need? Uh, it's it's not points. It's uh, money. So for the canister to be full, it's, it's two hundred and fifty. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. At least I get that straight. Yes. Kabla ni kujia poni na point mbili mtani fanyaji mtani saidiaje. This has come in to solve a lot of solutions, especially what you talked about uh, for the slums. Mm -hmm. uh, the fires in the slums, and this is a solution-based kind of cooker. Yes. Has the government been any in any way supportive of this invention? Yes, uh, we have seen uh, great and immense support, particularly from uh, Ministry of uh, Environment, Energy, Agriculture, Trade, uh, Industrialization, and uh, Finance, because uh, the benefits it has uh, benefits all the way to the government, benefits to the consumer benefit to the environment and benefits to to everyone for instance when we look at the environment yeah in africa uh, alone uh, each and every year we lose uh, almost 10 million hectares due to deforestation yes. which yes. is a lot. a lot now our solution uh, that uh, come to re comes to replace uh, firewood and charcoal cooking mm -hmm. automatically means uh, we reduce uh, deforestation all right yeah well this is interesting because guys the team from Coco is giving away one of the cookers and they're going to be telling you how you stand a chance to walk away with this amazing set. So just stick around for you to find out how, but I need to find out, really. Tuko Nairobi peke yake ama nikienda kwetu kikume ni nitapata Coco. Uh, kwa sasa tumeanza na Nairobi, Nairobi. it's okay. our first year. Okay. Yeah, and uh, in the next uh, two years, we are looking uh, to to expand to all over Kenya and cover all uh, urban uh, towns in Kenya. All right. Yes. So in the next few years, yeah, my show show could be yes using. I'm yeah. na kuni kabisa. I'm yachana na kuni kabisa. Absolutely. Eh, na 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 najua show show ako atakuwa na fry kusema koko na pika na koko. <laughs> Maisha ni okay, okay. Maisha ni koko. Absolutely. Thank you for that. So I told you guys, they're giving away a whole set of this and it is up to you to find out, to, to actually try out and see if you are going to be a winner. And the question that you need to answer for you to be a, you know, probable winner is <laughs> why do you as a viewer think that koko and koko fuel are the best options for you? Why do you think that the cocoa cooker and the cocoa fuel are the best options for you? Go ahead and SMS us your answer with your name as well. Tell us where you are watching us from. And the SMS line is 22999. 22999. So at the end of the show, we're going to be giving away this courtesy of Coco Networks. Thank you so much for coming, Peter. I hope we've covered everything. And it, it, I love it. I'm sold, I'm sold, but when we come back, we're going to be answering questions and finding out if tutakuwa na mshindi. Mshindi lazima pati. All right. <laughs> Take a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Joyce. I am your host, Mukali. Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. I am Mwikali. And remember, Coco Networks is giving away a whole set of this. And what you need to do is SMS us on 22999 and tell us why, for you as a viewer, you think that the Coco Cooker and the Coco Fuel are the best options for you. Why do you think they are the best options for you? We'll be looking at the SMSs later on on the show to just find out who our winners are and why you think they are the best options for you individually. But you talked about, uh, Peter, you talked about uh, 
the requirements for one to be an agent. Mm -hmm. But what about the cost? How much money do I need to have so that I can actually be an agent? So you need uh, 10,000 shillings, which okay. is uh, refundable, but uh, it's split into two. So 2,000 first, that uh, activates the technical assessment uh, process. And then after that, uh, 8,000 now to get into contract. So total is uh, 10,000 Kenya shillings. All right. Yeah. So this guy is in business, you know? Yes. So as much as he's going to put in money, he also needs to earn. So how does an agent earn? Yeah, so our agents uh, earn uh, revenues uh, in uh, three ways. Okay. Number one for each and every cooker sold. Which is six nine. Yeah, which is sixty nine ninety nine. Sixty nine ninety nine. Yes. They get a commission uh, on that. Mm -hmm. For each and every liter of fuel sold, they get a commission uh, on that. And number three, through our digital uh, machines, the Cocoa Point uh, themselves, mm -hmm. we have uh, ad revenues because we have different brands who host their content uh, on our machines. Okay. So, yeah, so the agents again will earn ad, ad revenue from that. All right. Yeah. You talked about how safe the fuel is and the cooker as well. But um, can it explode? You know those questions that people just have and we need to just know, <laughs> can it be drunk <laughs> and we'll be just fine? <laughs> yes. Um, the cooker itself cannot explode. This okay. is a uh, fuel that is not uh, compressed. Ah, so okay. you can leave your stove in the on position for an entire day. What? With closed windows. And the moment you strike up a match, boom, nothing. <laughs> <It's a unit>. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. even have to draw the picture for us. <laughs> yes, so uh, okay. yes, so completely uh, safe, cannot uh, explode. The fuel itself, uh, it cannot be uh, ingested. So there's a process uh, called denaturing that happens at source. So uh, to put it into simple terms, mm -hmm. it's just a bit of uh, substance added to the fuel itself. You try to ingest it, you'll puke everything out immediately. Okay. So no one can ingest. And again, our the design of our our canister, canister. yes, and fuel it uh, only ensures fuel comes out in the stove and when you are uh, dispensing in between, you cannot access it. Okay. Yeah. Now that you say that it can be on the whole day, how does it work really? Is it is there another on that is hidden? How does it work? No, uh, can you allow me to demonstrate? Without the light? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you pull this hatch up. And now uh, with your canister, okay. you give it just a simple twist and uh, open. Then I still can't believe you can turn it upside down and pull pull. There yeah. you go, guys. Yes. Miracles. Then uh, we have uh, instructions that are uh, simple uh, to follow. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, you'll do that and then just give it a twist as simple okay. as that and then our right. fuel starts going into the into the cooker how much fuel can get in there about uh one liter about one liter. yeah and the moment it gets full is there's an automatic uh, cut off okay yeah so uh, ah oh yes. it's not like those ones for imetosha ah, okay y yes <laughs> so there's an automatic cut off all right yes Oh, wow. So for every person who comes to get this particular equipment, they have to go through these lessons because it is not your kawaida, light it up, cook. And yes, and the lessons are uh, really simple. So you have just uh, a small, uh, I don't know if it's a six or I don't know the paper sizes, a small, uh, simple guide. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the buying uh, process on the tablet, on the Coco Point, there's a very short uh, video because uh, for consumers, anything visual, uh, like uh, in a video, it's much better it is. than reading. It's true. Yes. It is true. Yeah. So for all the agents, they need to be able to do this for all their clients. Yes. So they also need to have that knowledge so that they can pass yes. it on. Yeah, so we have uh, agent trainings Okay. Uh, at the point where we are installing uh, the Cocoa Point. Our agents have to undergo a simple uh, training for them to be able to guide consumers mm -hmm. and for them uh, to be able to, to do some uh, cleaning, quick checks and uh, so on. Absolutely. Yeah. What are the potential social and environmental impacts of switching Kenyans to bioethanol cooking, uh, cooking fuel? Yeah, so the moment we switch uh, Kenyans to our cocoa fuel, mm -hmm. uh, number one, we have cut down on charcoal uh, cooking, and number two, firewood, number three, kerosene. So when you look at the environment uh, side of things, this, uh, we are reducing uh, deforestation. And I think uh, it's not uh, rocket science, uh, the link between deforestation, uh, water patterns, and uh, food uh, production. Mm. Yeah. Now, number two, uh, ethanol, uh, where does it uh, come from? Primarily from sugar processing uh, companies. 
and we are looking at uh, can we boost the agricultural sector so that uh, farmers uh, for once can start growing sugarcane and other starch products for ethanol uh, production uh, uh, of course complementing the sugar production so that means you've partnered with some of these companies that actually uh, are in that particular yes business. yeah so uh, our, our fuel distributor vivo energy is currently uptaking all local supply all local supply all local supply that's huge yes that's huge so it means uh for instance sugar processing as we know in kenya has been like uh, the graph is just uh curving downwards yeah so we're looking at making it start going upwards the politicians tried it's yeah. not working we are banking on you guys <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely banking on you guys but looking at technology and how it's evolving mm. a few years ago we had never we would never think of something like this yes but now it's here with us but looking at the future of uh, the cocoa cooker and the cocoa fuel where are we going with that um i think uh apart uh, from uh, rolling out to all uh, urban areas uh, in kenya yeah. as well as uh, all fast growing uh, cities uh, in africa and uh, the rest uh, of the world the the opportunities that are there especially when we, are we talk about technology i think it's uh, unlimited or uh, roof uh, it does the roof doesn't have a top it just goes on and on and on and on okay yeah so this first of our product there are other products that are in the pipeline okay. and as i mentioned we build a uh, technology for life yes yes so uh, trust me the other products that are coming <laughs> <laughs> we'll be waiting we'll be waiting yes. and just looking at the sms's that are coming in cynthia from rongai says um, it's cheaper it saves energy and it's friendly to the environment which is what you've been talking about the whole time peter and uh, from Na from Rwai in nairobi mudoni says coco gas is a safe in that is uh, it's less prone to accidents uh, causing causing uh, fees or causing what what is that it is cheap and safe but you don't give us your name salome watching from kangore says coco is affordable to everyone my name is fazul and the reason why i think i deserve is because i'm a dad who has small kids and uh, with coco i can be guaranteed of the safety of my children and then um, coco cooker is efficient it is not consuming a lot of space environment friendly it's consumer friendly to the low income earners because it's friendly refilling because of its friendly uh refilling price which it says with 35 shillings you're able to actually go out there and yeah you know yeah, and get and get yourself fuel and make sure that your family has a meal for the day yes and this you said that this is even good for the kadogo economy yes which is really nice so the winner is drum rolls Wanjiko is our winner today because she says i need the cocoa cooker because i personally am an economist and i believe that cocoa is very cost efficient you can even fuel uh, it uh, refill it in the supermarket how amazing is that i have a one year old and i save time with the cocoa cooker so wow congratulations <laughs> Wanjiko, because you and your one year old just got upgraded to the cocoa cooker and the cocoa fuel so they get the whole package yes definitely and lessons as well yes peter you're going to be doing that for us yeah you should find <laughs> me there <laughs> it better be personal like that congratulations wanjiko but there's so many more coming in just let us know if you particularly love this product and maybe you can tell us some of the places that they can central places where they can go is it in every supermarket to get this particular product yeah so uh in uh in nairobi and the greater nairobi which is uh Kise area na ngong and uh, kiambu dika yeah. each and every shopping center they always have a coco agent in nairobi we have installed 700 of these so wow. we have the entire of nairobi covered great yeah. so what if uh, is it possible to just take this and come back but that will be uh, hectic for someone who's living in the machinani they've gotten it from nairobi they mm -hmm. have to come fuel it at a place that is closer to them mm -hmm. is there a way to find that out on online Yes, uh, if you go to cocofuels.com, uh, which is our consumer uh, website, yes. it will lead you to the nearest cocoa point uh, to your location, plus ah. the name, so you'll never get uh, lost. We want to make it consume for customers to find us uh, where we are. Uh, that's really nice. Social media, websites, maybe you can just give us yes, uh, those uh, details yeah, while we are at Yeah, it. so website uh, cocofuels.com. Uh, 
Facebook, Coco Fuel, Twitter, Coco Fuel. Okay. Yes. I'm looking at uh, Facebook right now. Keep chill, chill. Chemi Tay says, I'm so interested in this Coco Cooker. It looks compact and clean. I may get one soon. Kudos, Coco, for this. I'm watching from Timboroa. You'd better get to Timboroa. <laughs> Raoud Breeden says, how much I love it, mostly for bachelors. I love Switch TV. I'm switched for good. Ian Hungi says, Mikali can't get enough of your voice. How much is the Coco? And uh, how long can one little cook for? I know we mentioned this earlier, but just uh, for Ian. Yeah. So uh, the full uh, canister, which is a... Uh, 2.3 liters. Uh, average family of five will get you uh, anywhere from five to seven days, depending on your cooking uh, patterns. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Kevin Connor says, well, thanks. It is so easy to switch it on. If I want to take it to my grandma, it is the same. Is it the same like the normal gas? No, no it's not. This is not gas. No, it's this not. This is cocoa fuel. Yes. Yeah. And we've had a demonstration of how to... Uh, put the fuel in the cooker and how to turn it on. And it's so easy. Once you go to an agent, you're able to get this education right there. And Eman Juma nasema, Uliza inachukua miezi miakangapi juko koko kuzeka. We have a two-year warranty. So, and uh, we believe in uh, quality, not yes. just uh, safety. So we build uh, quality products that will last long. Okay. Yes. All right. And uh, still looking at uh, Facebook from Kinangop, Malaysia, Stash is tuned as usual, totally loving that product. Watching from Nyeri County is a Weru Paul. And we have uh, Kevin Konde as well from Chania. And you're, yeah, Kevin is the one who's saying that is definitely going to take it to uh, the grandma. We have Irene Candy saying, I love it, love it, love Coco most. And what is that tagline? Because I see most of the people talking about it over here. And it's, they're saying it's very, very catchy. <laughs> the word Coco. No, the, there's, a, there's a tagline you said earlier. Okay, okay. Uh, Maisha ni okay, okay. Maisha ni Coco. <laughs> <laughs> so this is in Kenya right now and you're looking to get it into other parts of uh, um, the country. Is this technology anywhere else in other countries in Africa? Forget about Africa. This technology didn't exist anywhere in the world. What? We are the pioneers of this technology. Oh in, my God. In the whole world. That is, that is quite something. That yeah. is what, and that begs the question, is it going to move out of this country to other countries as well? Yes. It's something, working with other people is such a big company and it transverses to other parts of Africa as well. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, we, we'll be looking to move uh, to other countries, uh, potentially in the next uh, two or uh, three years. Okay. And what, uh, how we'll be venturing into those other markets, we are looking at uh, partnerships. Because, uh, yes, we can build a... Uh, it ourselves but it yeah. will just be much faster if we get uh, local uh, distributors in those other countries all right yeah one year in mm -hmm. after all the technical and innovative things that happened the last three years mm -hmm. one year in how's the reception in the country how are we loving it are we embracing it it's new mm -hmm. uh, to us yeah uh, are we are we embracing it well yes What's the actually, yeah. actually let me give you the perfect uh, example in Udiru, we have a uh, Kibanda that's uh, uh, in Udiru on your, it's on, on the highway on your yeah. way to Udiru. Yeah. So initially, this lady was using uh, LPG and charcoal mm -hmm. uh, for cooking. Then, uh, then uh, she got introduced uh, to cocoa. So she first bought one cooker. Mm -hmm. Started seeing the benefits of it, she bought a second one. Then eliminated charcoal. Benefits of it, a third one, and eliminated LPG. Now Akibanda only has a uh, Hakuna Moshi. Hakuna Moshi, Hakuna Rufu. All the customers over there are happy because initially you had all this smoke coming from uh, charcoal. And again, uh, from a uh, Kibanda setting to a, to a home setting, this is where the health benefits are, uh, are seen. Because when you don't have a uh, suit, when you don't have uh, fumes, yeah. it means uh, you don't have uh, indoor illnesses as a result of indoor air pollution. Yeah, and uh, if you didn't uh, know, uh, in Kenya or uh, urban Africa, the leading cause of uh, death for yeah. children under five years is indoor air pollution. Absolutely. Somebody gave me a very simple illustration of that. See, when you go to uh, Ushago and the, the kitchen, yeah. 
Mm. It has all these black things yes. on the walls and everything. And it's the suit is so dark and it's stuck on the walls. Yep. That is exactly what the insides of our grandmothers and people who are actually uh, using that kind of fuel this yeah. day and age looks like. Yeah. And it's very, very scary. Yeah. So kudos to this and kudos to Coco for doing this thank, for thank us. Yeah. And congratulations, Wanjiko, because you walk away with a set of Coco Kuka and Coco Fuel. They go hand in hand very easy to use very affordable and it is quite literally in every town in this uh in, in nairobi rather we're taking a very short commercial break i am with Kali and this is full circle do not go too far because when you come back we're going to be talking about turning those weaknesses into strength